beaucoup. Bless you. The Abbey of beaumont sur mer was founded in the year 1403 with a grant from Charlemagne in commemoration of a miracle that is yet to occur. It has been wheelchair accessible since the 16th century. Thank you for your attention and Ave Marie. Madam? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? I've spent the past few days trying to find the prince's country on the map. Is it to the right or the left of the Alps? Yes. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I, I thought as long as I'm here, I should pitch in. You know, I'm a docent at our museum back home and minored in art history. So I know a lot about these places. All right, just make it up. May I call your attention to the rapture of Louis Le Boeuf? Following a brief career as Gregorian Chanteuse, this poor peasant girl married the CEO of a major pharmaceutical company. And after 18 years of devotion, caught him with a dental hygienist half his age. Praying for guidance, she took him to the cleaners, had some work done, and voila! <laughs> Is that Dr. Story? No, it's mine. But that story works in every century. <laughs> Did His Highness receive my scarf? Ah, yes. It was hit of the battlefield. You know, I've been searching the papers, but there's not so much as a mention. It's just a little revolution. We don't like to make a fuss. Oh, but you must. If you'd like, I can talk to some of the women around town, rally the troops. You know, I'm in charge of snacks for our neighborhood watch and telemarketing coach for our local PBS fund drive. You have a lot of energy, don't you? Well, I have a lot of time. Yes, well... Let me talk it over with the other rebels, and we'll get back to you. In the meantime, it was lovely running into you. Have a safe journey home, and goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, maybe I should stay. Should I stay? I think I should stay. Why? Should he need me if there's something more I can do? Madam, please. Your generosity is already legend! Oh? Between us, there is talk of a statue. Of me? Try to act surprised. Oh, I am! <laughs> I only got a tote bag from PBS. <laughs> oh, oh, there goes your group. Don't lose them. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, could I be a stamp instead? A stamp? I think I'd rather be a stamp. Then a stamp will be. Really? In a dilation, Lick. Your forehead. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're getting so small in the distance, like tiny little people. Go, be one of them. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll miss you. Will you? Only if you leave. <laughs> I can't tell you how much this means to me. And yet, you are going to, aren't you? When I was just a little girl, so young and innocent, I kneeled beside my little bed. I'd say a prayer and still remember this is how it went. Let me have love unending. Let me look good in shorts. Now I am not a child and years have passed. I'd say my miracle is due. Yet I'm still searching, vainly lurching as the world spins round. What is a woman? What is a woman? Mamselle Christine Goguet of Cincinnati, Ohio. Age? 29. Married? Never. Money? They call her the American Sub Queen. 
Please extend our highness every possible courtesy of your grand hotel. Certainement. You know, we made a great scene. Yeah, yeah we did. Although I will say, uh, I don't usually work in pairs. <laughs> hey, I don't even like double solitaire. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess this means you're off. Oh. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Uh... <laughs> I beg your pardon. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Neither did I. Of course, if you would possibly uh, like to stay on a bit and see if there's anything more you can learn. I could do that. Oh, good! You know, uh, just in case you get into a few more jams. I don't get in jams. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, if it weren't for me, you'd be on the prairie plucking your own dinner. <laughs> All right, I will admit that Ruprecht was an effective prop, but... Prop? Hey, Ruprecht was the star of that show. You were just the MC. I prefer to consider myself as a ventriloquist. Which makes me, what, the dummy? That was easy. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Freddy. You know what? Forget it! I am out of here! Fine. I was doing swell on my own. I've been on my own since I was 15. You showed me the ropes. Thanks. Thanks to Yahoo. I will be just fine. Yes, just you and your imaginary grandmother. Hey, for your information, that old broad was the most respected bookie in St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis? And she taught me a hell of a lot more about life than you. Oh. Uh, walk like this, talk like that, sip your fly, don't snore at the opera. It was Wagner. It was six hours? I mean, geez, I don't even want to have sex and eat bacon for six hours. <laughs> Freddy. Seems that I have gotten under your skin. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess so. And that's why you'll never make it in this oh, business. Oh, listen, you! No, you listen. This is an arm's length business, my friend. As the man said, we are the things that dreams are made of. Their dreams, not ours. What they want, not you. If you can have the patience to stay detached, which I highly doubt, then you will get your castle in time. But you better build your walls high, my friend, because the minute you let someone else in, the game is up. Yeah, well, as the coaster said, yakety yak. I am wasting my breath. I think you're scared. Of what? Of me. A face that pops. I am younger than you. I am charminger than you. Charminger? I am better looking than you. All right, now you've done it. If I were running this place, you would be finished. My boy, you wouldn't last for two minutes. Want to bet? Are you challenging me? Why not? Hello. Good evening. Hey there. How about we do this, Freddy? We pick a woman. Set a price and whoever extracts the proper amount of rings. All right, how much? I'll make it easy for you. Say, $50,000. $50,000? Oh, 